This video is a product buyer's guide intended for gift givers and adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Fang. The Rainbow High Dolls we'll be reviewing today are ones I have been waiting for a long time. Yes, we finally have the fantastic fashion dolls on hand. And in this video, we'll be sharing in-depth reviews of all seven characters in the collection, including Rainbow High's Core 6, Ruby, Poppy, Sunny, Jade, Skylar, and Violet, as well as Amaya Rain. As many long time fans know, the extravagant gowns seen in this line are based on the runway looks we saw all the way back in 2021's animated series season 1 finale, titled No Rain, No Rainbows. Although we haven't seen these fashions reappear in the animation since the first season, they just might make a comeback in the current season 4, which recently premiered on YouTube this past June. As we've discussed previously, the new storyline centers on the Project Rainbow fashion competition. Let us know your hopes and theories for upcoming episodes in the comments. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about the complete set of fantastic fashion dolls, including an honest conversation about their quality, value some of their fashion inspirations, which pieces are reprinted from past releases, and much more, so keep on watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a moment of the adult collector perspective here on Toy Chat. I can't wait to discuss these with you all, so let's dive right in. We ordered all seven of these dolls online from the LOL Surprise official store, where they receive an exclusive early release. They are expected to roll out to other major retailers in the US by sometime later in July. Each doll is priced at $34.99. We'll share their barcodes and Target DPCI numbers on screen here. Be ready to share these with your local Targets when they start appearing in stores. The packaging is similar to past Rainbow High Deluxe releases, although you may have noticed the plastic window display now covers more surface space of the box. It's split into two compartments because yes, this series offers a welcome return of secondary outfits, something a little more casual to wear off the runway. Not quite complete outfits, however, since these dolls do not come with secondary shoes. Instead, there are some new accessories, which we will cover later. There's a Project Rainbow sticker at the bottom right side. You'll notice that each character has a unique design in reflective gold at the outer corners of her box, like butterflies for Poppy and diamonds for Violet. Which design is your favorite? We can see each character's school focus on one side of the box. Mixed media for Ruby, music production for Poppy, computer animations for Sunny, cosmetology for Jade, fashion design for Skylar and Amaya, and digital media for Violet. The back of the box is uniform across all seven dolls. It displays full body artwork of all the girls together and their runway looks. The bottom description reads, this semester's project Rainbow Fashion Competition is original, innovative, and totally fabulous. All right, let's unbox them all and take a closer look. First up is Ruby Anderson. She definitely makes an impression with her vibrant makeup. She has candy apple red eyeshadow that covers her top eyelid and lower lash line with dramatic double winged eyeliner in black. The inner corners are painted yellow with a dusting of gold glitter, which we can see on the eyeshadow as well. And wow, look at those lips. They definitely live up to Ruby's name in a rich and glossy ruby red. Ruby wears a black beanie with an attached black mesh veil. Very high fashion. Her signature ruby red hair with candy apple red highlights reaches her knees. This time it's styled into waves with the ends loosely curled. She's ready for her runway moment in a black sleeveless top. The front is laced up with a long red string that's tied into a bow at the bottom. There are gold rings and black pleather decorating the front. Her skirt is intricately crafted to look like a tied red jacket. This design probably pays homage to her signature look, which features a red plaid shirt tied at her waist. This skirt has multiple layers, but it is all one piece. The top layer is the red tied jacket. The sleeve cuffs have white stripes on them. 
there's a gold zipper lining the hemline. This black belt has a functional buckle and seems technically removable, but the large gold decorations might snag on the belt loops, so we didn't try that. On one side, there's a gold piece that reads rainbow and the other strap reads sparkle. When the buckle and strap are looped together, the opening of the skirt almost resembles a heart shape. Moving on, there are two layers of red pleated tulle. Finally, there is a short black pencil skirt underneath. The whole piece Velcro's closed in the back. Ruby is wearing red sandal heels. The heel and sole of the shoe have a metallic gold geometric pattern, which we've seen before. These may be inspired by Versace's Greek platform suede sandals. Ruby's secondary outfit puts her in a more casual look. She's wearing a black biker jacket with lots of silver stud detailing. There's a faux zipper in the front and two belt-like straps with buckles, which are fully adjustable and removable. The sleeves also have faux zippers and red flame graphics. The interior is partially lined at the back. Underneath the jacket, Ruby is wearing a plain red slip dress with shoulder straps. This is a very simple look without the jacket. Poppy Rowan is up next in our rainbow spectrum. Her eyeshadow is a gradient of orange to yellow that wraps around the top eyelid to the lower lash line. Above the eyelid is a layer of smoky brown with specks of white paint, most likely to mimic the monarch butterfly's wings. Her lips are painted a matte tangerine orange. Poppy's bright orange and sherpa pink hair is back. Her wavy curls fall just past her thighs. There's a middle part in her hair and there are six orange barrettes with monarch butterflies on them. She has two short tendril bangs. Ours looks a bit short and curls differently than the ones in the promo images. Poppy is declaring her love for the monarch butterfly with this show-stopping gown. The bodice features butterfly wings that wrap around her torso. There's a black ribbon tied in the back. The skirt of the gown has large butterfly wings that drape around her. The layer underneath has a thigh slit. All of the wings are bejeweled with rhinestones. Fans have pointed out that this dress is probably inspired by the Moschino Monarch Butterfly dress from spring 2018. Poppy is wearing gold heels with monarch butterflies on the toe straps and wrap ties. These might be inspired by Steve Madden's Utopia Gold Butterfly Lace Up Heels, or we found similar ones by Jesse. Poppy's secondary outfit consists of a matching orange top and skirt. The top features a high collar with a faux zipper. There's a cutout at the chest. There are decorative metallic dots throughout the outfit. The skirt, like the top, is orange and has matching dots design. Poppy probably has the simplest of the secondary outfits. Sunny Madison makes another welcome appearance after our last Rainbow High review. Let's take a look at her fantastic fashion makeup. There's lemon yellow eyeshadow on her top lid and inner corners. Glitter is applied over it. A smoky dark brown layer above the yellow rounds out her eyeshadow. Bubblegum pink lipstick completes her runway look. Her drop earrings are really cute. The iridescent gems look like raindrops. Pigtails are clearly a favorite hairstyle for Sunny, and she sports them once again here. She has painted baby hairs, and her long straight hair reaches her knees. There's a middle part, and if you look closely, there are French braids from the middle part to her pigtails. These braids are both in the front and back of her head. Unfortunately, she is not sporting the glitter roots that she has in the animation, but I think that might be tough at doll scale. Sunny makes a big splash on the runway, which she'll be protected from herself in this statement umbrella dress. Just like the one she wore in Rainbow High Animation, it's designed to look like a large upside down umbrella in bright yellow fabric with a stretchy latex-like texture. The bodice section has split ruffle layering and what looks like a white drawstring, something you'd see on a raincoat, is sewn onto a metallic gold belt which is also attached. We notice the bodice wants to slip down a lot. It's hard to keep over her chest. The construction of the umbrella itself is pretty impressive and as a really cool added detail, you can actually adjust the canopy spread using eight gold bendable ribs. We did notice that it's hard to get too much movement, but you can make the umbrella look a bit more open or closed to your liking. If you inspect the top interior, you'll notice it's all attached to a gold ring, which acts a bit like a crinoline. The bottom, where her legs can pass through, is bunched inward. To top it all off, there are several dangling strings with translucent beading, with each bottom one shaped like a raindrop. So cute. The statement portion of this piece was likely inspired by the umbrella dress designed by Agatha Ruiz de la Prada. Continuing her rainy day couture are these translucent ankle boot sandals with both the ankles and soles painted yellow. 
Sunny must have consulted Violet and Poppy for her secondary look because she borrows elements of both of their signature fashions. Sunny is wearing a yellow puffer jacket that is awfully similar to Series 1 Poppy's signature look. Though we have to point out that Sunny's jacket seems more flexible than the very stiff one Poppy has. Another small difference is the drawstrings. The yellow sequin dress that Sunny wears underneath is a recolor variant of Series 1 Violet's signature dress. Jade Hunter is up next, and she really glows in this release. She has thick eyeliner with a sharp downturned angle. White eyeliner lines the black wing eyeliner. Surrounding her eyes is a smoky layer of neon green eyeshadow. Her pitch black lipstick goes well with the edgy ensemble. Her lime green straight hair is tied up into a high ponytail. It is super long and almost reaches her ankles. There are six barrettes in front of her hair. Three of them are black, and the three metallic silver ones reads Boss, Rainbow, and Bad. If you inspect underneath her ponytail, you find a sneaky seventh barrette, once again in black. What is notably absent from the doll version of Jade is the metallic chains that adorn the animated Jade's ponytail. Glitch's doll release also suffers from the same omission. Jade's earrings feature three sculpted silver chains dangling down from an iridescent clear gem stud, each with a lightning bolt star and gem. Jade's outfit was a hot topic when it first appeared on the show, and fans were curious how MJ would translate her ensemble to doll form. Jade's shocking green electricity from the show is now a glow-in-the-dark plastic piece that goes around her dress. This piece can open up in the back with a couple of snaps, and it glows pretty bright. The instruction guide recommends you leave this piece in sunlight for a few minutes before putting it in the dark. Her outfit underneath is a black slip dress. There's a top dress over it made up of silver mesh netting. Attached to the netting is various silver charms of lightning bolts and stars. The slip dress and mesh are connected as one piece, and it velcros in the back. Jade wears thigh-high black combat boots. Those are actual laces running up the front. So if you want to remove these shoes, you have to unlace them. There are straps by the ankles. And would you look at that, actual pockets on the side of the shoe. Those boots have tall stiletto heels and ridges on the soles. For her more casual ensemble, Jade has on a black hoodie with green drawstrings. This hoodie is inspired by the Moschino H&M collaboration. This jacket was worn by the creative director of Moschino, Jeremy Scott. Jade's jacket has silver embroidered chains in the word BOSS. The lime green word rainbow is printed behind the embroidery. There are three purple rhinestones that have an iridescent shine to them. The hoodie velcros shut in the back. The hoodie section has a place to position her hair though. Her short skirt has a green snake print pattern. There's a fake zipper running down the front and fake zippers along the sides. Skylar Bradshaw is up next and even on the runway she rocks her signature denim. Her eyeshadow has tiers of periwinkle below a smoky blue, with silver glitter dusting the upper lash line. A layer of soft purple shadow is painted below each eye, and she wears shimmery peach pink lipstick. She wears four iridescent gem hair clips, which are also slightly translucent, on the left side. They have white painted pearl details. In this release, Skylar's hair is styled similarly to her winter break look in lush, bouncy curls. As always, it comes in her trademark shades of light to dark blues. Skylar's runway look is an asymmetrical denim gown with a split front. A series of iridescent rhinestones and panels of silver buttons decorate the bodice down to the top of the train section. Fabric just below the bust is layered to create a nice ruffled look. Although it is possible to untie the front of this black buckled belt, you cannot actually remove it. It's sewn to the back, which opens with Velcro. The rear of the dress has two gem-studded functional pockets, and there's an additional pocket on the left side of the train. Her shoes are navy blue heels with ankle and toe straps. The silver sculpted back heel reads RH. For her second outfit, Skylar can wear a two-tone denim blue dress. It has a very plunging neckline, which may be intentional, or maybe this one just keeps wanting to slide down. The shoulder straps go outward rather than upward, and the promo pictures confirm it's intended as an off-the-shoulder look. We had a little trouble keeping these straps in the right position. The dress has trendy slit openings at each side of the torso, and there are two functional pockets with a brown RH patch visible from the front. Skylar is one of only two dolls in this line to come with a purse. It's a great inclusion, and with this style of RH branding and triangular shape and pleather, we're pretty sure it's 
inspired by the Prada leather shoulder bag or one of its variations. The top has faux zipper detailing, but this purse has no opening. The strap has a rainbow logo print and a decorative blue clip by the R charm. A silver H charm dangles off the lower side and its paired R is attached to the long light blue handle strap. Disclaimer, our Violet Willow here does not have a black eye or raccoon makeup on, but maybe she went a tad too far with the eyeliner and pencil. Anyways, Violet has a deep violet purple eyeshadow on her upper eyelid. Above that is a layer of iridescent glitter. Her lips are painted a rosy red. Her signature blend of purples in her hair is styled up into a ponytail. There are two tendrils secured around her face with thread. There's a middle part and eight silver barrettes with white dots decorating her hair. The ponytail is pretty detailed if you turn her around. A portion of her hair wraps around the ponytail and creates extra dimension. Her hair falls to her back and has a slight curl to it. Violet looks like she's ready for a roaring 1920s themed party. Her outfit reminds us of what a flapper girl would wear. This form-fitting dress is a light lavender color, borderlining white. It has a pearlescent sheen to it and is covered with faux pearls. There are pearls lining the shoulder straps with white and lilac fabric feathers decorating them. There's additional feathers at the thighs and at the hemline. This dress draws direct inspiration from Ralph and Russell's Fall 2019 Couture Collection. Violet shoes are pretty lovely. They're translucent purple sandal heels with iridescent teardrop gems lining the toe straps and back heels. You can kind of see her feet underneath. Violet has on a white faux fur jacket for her second look. And the inside is lined in white fabric. This look comes with a lavender mini dress. The fabric looks like it might be Lurik, a fabric that has tinsel woven in. There are lavender ribbon shoulder straps, and the fabric is stretched at the bust. Rounding out our rainbow, we have the ever multicolored Amaya Rain. The one we have here has an especially bright highlight shimmer. That's a lot of shine on her forehead. As you've noticed, this line does mark a comeback for the highlight shimmer faces, but it varies quite a bit doll to doll. In this screening, Amaya wears eyeshadow that transitions from a light red at the inner corner to a soft indigo at the outer side. Gold glitter is dusted along her upper lash line into the inner corner, and she wears peach pink lipstick. Amaya's long platinum white hair makes a return in her runway look, and she wears it tied into a high ponytail. Once again, she has a rainbow of streaks in pinkish red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And yes, she does still have the silver tinsel. Of course, Amaya is representing the rainbow of this runway's theme. She wears a long, elegant dress with a pleated chiffon bodice. The bodice is white with an iridescent shimmer, and a decorative silver belt, which is sewn on, cinches just below the bust. Despite what it may look like, the bodice and rainbow dress fabric are sewn together as a single piece. It all opens in the back with Velcro. The remainder of the dress is a draping, slightly sheer fabric in a rainbow gradient throughout. The dress is very long, going past her feet. Amaya also wears a trio of bracelets. One silver bangle with iridescent details, a white floral bracelet, and finally an iridescent gem bracelet. Her shoes are strappy block heel sandals. The toe and back heel straps are painted with rainbows, and the ankle strap is silver with a buckle detail. The outer and bottom sole are metallic silver. We aren't completely certain of these shoes' inspiration, but the women's Batista ankle strap platform sandals by Jessica Simpson do look pretty similar. I really love Amaya's second outfit. Its design may remind you of her first release. We'll circle back to that. This white pleather dress has shoulder straps with respective R and H gold buckle decorations. The dress has rainbow colored stitch detailing and a series of sewn on belt straps zigzag down the torso, fastened with additional belt loops. There are five decorative metallic gold buckles, one over each strap. They read RH, Magic, Sparkle, Rainbow, and High. The same base design continues onto the back and it opens with velcro. You may recall in her hair studio playset release, Amaya's shoes were inspired by the Moschino logo boots. Amaya must be a Moschino girl because this dress borrows inspiration from the same fashion house. As if Amaya's second look wasn't trendy enough, she can accessorize even further with this matching trunk purse, which is very fancy looking for Playline. It has an alligator-like texture with metallic gold buckles on the handle and a matching edge lining. The opening strap has a gold RH sculpt. The purse does indeed open up, which is a great added touch. 
As you may have noticed, all of the girls have long manicured nails in cute colors and styles to match their runway looks. These dolls do come with signature hair combs and display stands. Every doll in this line also comes with the same pair of accessories, being a fashion sketch journal and matching pen in that character's signature color. The journal is made of a tough plastic, and the front reads Rainbow High in gold. If you open each one up, however, you'll see design sketches inside that are unique to character. The art style is really cute and whimsical, and shows off a little inspiration and variation of each character's runway look. Alright, we are finally finished, so let's move on to final thoughts. After waiting two years wondering if these dolls will ever be produced, the time has finally come. I'm curious if this whole time the MJ designers were figuring out ways to translate these into physical dolls. Some of the fashions are pretty intricate and detailed to recreate, especially some of the fantasy elements like Jade's electricity. I think MJ did a wonderful job with these dolls, and personally I can say these dolls are worth the long wait. The addition of the secondary outfit was a welcome surprise. They're fairly simple though, not the usual effort we come to expect from the brand. But for $34.99, you can't beat that price for all that you're getting. I would say Poppy is my personal favorite. Her butterfly gown really has that wow factor. The rhinestones really make the outfit pop. Skylar is a close second in my picks. I always love winter break Skylar's curly hair, so I'm glad it makes a return here. Our poor Violet has some wonk. I think collectors need to be diligent with inspecting this release for any imperfections. It seems like the factory did not have the best quality control here. But once you find your perfect one, I think any of these dolls will be a great addition to your collection. Whether you are a new collector who missed out on the core six dolls to buy, or long-term fans eager for more dolls or have seen the episode, Fantastic Fashion Dolls is a great addition to your collection. Those of you who know me know I love a luxe fashion doll moment, so I've been eagerly anticipating these final runway looks for the entire two years that we waited for them. As much as I love early access to products, I hope these online exclusive first drops don't become too much of a trend because I like to inspect my dolls in person and as I'm sure you all saw, these online orders had a few glaring defects. I was pleasantly surprised to see these dolls priced at $34.99. Honestly, when they leaked, I was expecting them to be $40, bare minimum, and I think at this cost, they're an amazing value. For the most part, this line is a very faithful iteration of the looks from the show, and although, yes, there are a lot of sewn-together single pieces rather than several layers, it makes most of these fashions no less gorgeous or detailed. While some might take issue with the fact that the secondary looks don't come with shoes and in some cases are a little basic overall. There's a lot to play with here and reminds us why Rainbow High shines brightest when it offers the dynamic versatility of mixing and matching. Ruby is the first example of impressive outfit construction and though I'm usually not one for sporty looks, this is exactly the high fashion twist that makes it appeal to me. We've seen many iterations of Poppy's butterfly motif by now, but this gown definitely feels like the quote, final form, and the additions of eye-catching rhinestones and heavy use of butterfly sculpt detailing give a real va va -voom factor, which I guess almost permits a pass for her super basic second look. Leave it to MGA to take a 2D design that seems super complicated to translate into doll form, and still translate it very well. This applies to both Sunny and Jade in my book. I was really unsure how the functioning umbrella, let alone Jade's electricity magic, would be incorporated here, but overall, I totally approve of the creative liberties taken. It's so cool that Sunny's dress still looks and feels like a real adjustable umbrella, and Jade is stunning in person. She's probably my favorite one in this entire line. Her dark vampy makeup pairs gorgeously with her mega detailed fashions and her second outfit is equally amazing. She really pops and all of her looks are fire. If you get just one, get Jade. 
Skylar and Violet, I think, look the most like their signature selves, which I thought in the animated version as well. But Skylar's screening here is really stunning, and if you're a fan of denim, her looks are a fun, upscaled spin on an often casual material. Violet ranks last for me by default, as she does in many releases. She just so often feels the least detailed. But I will say her shimmery dress looks much nicer in person than promos. If you were a big fan of Amaya's original platinum hair look, this is basically the glow up of that. She's mostly pretty dazzling, though something feels slightly lacking or maybe just too simple in the rainbow portion of her gown. Her second outfit and purse, however, are phenomenal. It might be my favorite outfit this character has worn. Incredibly trendy. Thank you so much for joining us for this review. We hope you enjoyed it. Definitely let us know your thoughts on the Rainbow High Fantastic Fashion Dolls in the comments below. Sang and I will be headed for the East Coast very soon to attend both the Toy Insiders Sweet Sweet event and Integrity Toys Curated. So there'll be lots of content coming very soon for both of those. Related playlists will be linked on screen here. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't. Let us know what you want to see reviewed next and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.